Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do your own stiletto nails. Big popular trend that's going on right now. You see them on Rihanna, Adele, basically everybody. So I'm going to show you how to do them on your own. And the great thing about this technique is that it does not use acrylics. It doesn't use harmful gels. You don't have to drill your nails because who really wants to do that? The cool thing about this is it helps your nails actually grow out. And if you want to soak these off, your nail is still intact. It's not damaged. So it's kind of a win-win situation. Um, I actually got inspired to do this technique from a YouTuber called Japan Nails and More. She's awesome, has tons of great nail tutorials. And so I got inspired by one of her techniques. She's awesome, like I said before. So everything that you need for this video, you can either get at your local beauty supply or you can get it at Sally's Beauty, which is where I got everything. It's not super expensive and really easy to do. Definitely a fun look for summer when you go to the beach, you travel, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So if you want to see how to do your own stiletto nails without having to go to the salon, stay tuned. And if you like this video, you want to see more of it, you have any questions, leave them in the bottom bar below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. The products you're going to need are nail tips, fiberglass or silk wrap, gel cure, a lightless gel, nail glue, brush on gel resin, nail primer, a nail file. I personally use the banana nail filer because it's easier for me to get the stiletto shape. A nail buffer to smooth everything out, nail polish remover, small scissors to cut the silk, nail clippers, and your favorite polish to finish off your nails. I'm using Go Go Girl by Sinful Colors. You can find Sinful Colors at your local Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, or other drugstore near you. So before we get started with the actual application of the nail, you want to make sure that it's ready to go. Make sure that you use cuticle softener or remover and push back your cuticles and cut them away, as well as filing down the sides of your nail just to make sure that everything is in place. Next, you want to find a nail in your nail tip kit that fits your nail perfectly. Make sure that it looks good on both sides of the nail. And if you find that it's a little too big, it's easy. Just file down the sides. Next, we're going to take the nail and lightly buff it down a little bit right in the center Makes and on the sides. It makes it a lot easier to get that nail on and make it flush with the nail without having to file down your own nails. So now that we've got the nail glued on and secured, make sure the edges are good, everything's ready to go. Now you're going to cut it to the length that you like. Since I'm going for the stiletto shape and some of them are a little bit on the longer side, I'm going to take my scissors Oops. and that looks to be about right and I'm going to cut. If you have bigger clippers to cut your nail, definitely go ahead and use them. I personally just have my scissors. I find it's a lot easier to work with. Now taking my clippers, I'm going to go ahead and create that stiletto shape. You want to make sure that it's lined up with the side of your nail and depending on how much of a point you want, you can move it to the left, to the right, I mean, or to the left. So I'm going to keep mine right here and clip. I got that first half going. I'm going to turn it Make sure that it connects right at the point and clip. And now we have that stiletto shape ready to go. So now we're going to start buffing and shaping the nail. Take your buffer. I got mine from Sally's Beauty Supply. It's just a red and black block. I don't really know the grit of it, but it works really well. So take it and just start filing the tip. Don't start filing your actual nail because we don't want to damage it. Oop. Then take your banana filer and really try and get into the corners. Make sure everything's lining up and you can start to buff the shape after this as well. So now I'm going to start taking the filer and just getting the little corners so after you're done buffing, everything's smooth, really flush with the nail. As you can see, you really can't see the difference between my natural nail or the tip. Now, remember, you don't want to buff your actual nail. Now we can start going for the actual stiletto shape. It's basically in place, 
but you just want to smooth out any rough edges that you might have make sure everything's even and then you want to flip your fingers over it's kind of hard for me to do filming da, 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 da. La, la, la. and then match them up so you'll put them side by side to see do they match do they not match and if they don't match keep filing until they do now take your buffer lightly very light tender just knock the shine off your natural nail and that's it. Make sure it gets a little, little dusty. So I'm Next using gonna... Beauty Secret Sure Bond Non-Acid Nail Primer. All the supplies that I use in this video, I picked up from Sally's Beauty Supply. It, this primer is awesome. I don't get lifting. I don't get cracking. It's just, it's good stuff. So using the primer, I'm going to go in and prime my whole nail down by the cuticle as well as the tip. Anywhere that the silk or fiberglass, depends on what you're using, is going to go. And I'm going to do two coats just to just solidify everything, make sure it's good. Now we're going to take our fiberglass or your silk, whichever one you're using, and measure it to our nail. Looks to be about right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut right there with my scissors. So with your silk or your fiberglass, you're going to peel the back of it once you've cut it and apply it to the nail. Make sure it covers both sides and if there's any hangover, and there's some right about there, take go in with your scissors and just cut it away as well as cut along the edges of your nail so tip. This is how your fiberglass or your silk should look after you're done cutting it, making sure that it's not touching the sides of your nail because that can cause lifting and nobody wants that. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. Just go ahead and push it down, smooth it out, and then don't throw this part away. The excess, you're going to need it. So just put it off to the side, and I'll show you how to use it in a sec. Take your gel resin. I'm using IBDs. Again, I got it Sally's Beauty Supply. I'm going to take it, brush off the excess, and you're going to brush it onto your nail starting right above the cuticle. Brushing it on nice and thin. Make sure to get around the side walls. Not touching your skin. If you do touch your skin, just go in with an orange stick or your fingernail and remove it. Just going around. Make sure to get the free edge. And again, if you got any on the sides like I did, because Lord knows I'm messy sometimes, just go in and clean, 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 clean it up. So while the gel resin is drying on your nail, you're going to go ahead and take that excess fiberglass or silk that you put to the side and cut a small strip of it. You're going to use it on your stress area to keep your nail from cracking or breaking. It just really reinforces the nail. Now that it's dry, I'm going to take that little strip that you cut and press it down. Really make sure that it's on there nice and good. Check on the sides. Make sure that everything is lining up. Got a little excess on the side. Just go ahead and go in with your scissors and clip it off. And then throw the gel resin on it again and give it a moment to dry. Once it's set, you want to go in and repeat the same process with the lightless gel. Dropping a small drop. Spreading it. And then curing it. You're going to do this process about three to four more times. I personally do five because I'm really hard on my hands. So now that the gel's on, you want to take your gel cure and give it a light spritz. Just two little quick ones and give that about 30 seconds to set. So once you've got all your layers on, you're gonna go in, file the sides, make sure everything is smooth. And then just like before, you're gonna take your buffing block and start to buff. You can go crazy on this and don't take away all your layers, but just make sure that everything is smooth. Grab your nail polish remover and a small piece of paper towel or a cotton swab, Q-tip, whatever you have, and just wipe off the dust so that your nail is clean 
and ready for polish. All right, so once your polish and your top coat is on, you are done. Maybe slap some glitter on there, a little nail art, little Mickey Mouse, whoop. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And again, a list of the products will be down in the bottom bar.